Well, Gold Hill could be just a few months away from opening its first and only medical marijuana dispensary. The city is revi revisiting its zoning and business license laws to pave the way. Newswatch 12's Justin Bork reports on the very long and uncertain process and why one business owner is hedging her entire life savings on it. Well, earlier this week, Gold Hill passed a year-long moratorium on dispensaries, and already they're working with one business owner to put that to an end. But that's hardly a guarantee, and already a lot of money has been put on the line. The future of Gold Hill dispensaries is still up in the air, but one person is betting her life savings on it. We've invested about $25,000 for the year-long lease and the alarm and security system and some of the furniture and fixtures. Bree Malarkey's shop, Bree's Botanicals, has been given a provisional license from the state to sell marijuana. That means meeting all of the expensive security and outfitting requirements. While marijuana isn't the only product she plans to sell, now that the money is down, she says she'll need that side of the business to survive. <laughs> I seriously don't think that we'll be able to make it past the tourist season with all the expenses. Whether or not that happens will depend on the city. Despite passing a one-year moratorium, the council is working to modify their zoning and business license laws to accommodate her. A long process. There's three different ordinances, which means there's six different meetings because it takes two meetings to pass an ordinance. It means three different hearings. It means three different public notices. That's about three months of planning, and a lot can change in that time. Now, the council can change their mind at any time. I mean, they've conducted one public, well, they've conducted two public hearings. They're going to be conducting at least two more public hearings. All for one business. Because of its small size, Gold Hill can only fit a single dispensary. And while community members consider how they stand, Malarkey says she'll be keeping her fingers crossed and keep pushing onward. I'm very determined. I really believe in it. Now, the Gold Hill City Council will meet on May 5th for their first reading to create a medical marijuana facility business license. They'll be visiting their zoning laws later in the month. Live in the newsroom, Justin Bork, Newswatch 12.